What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna take a look at this 2022 Jeep Gladiator Willis Edition. Big shout out and thank you to Feeny Chrysler Jeep Dodge and Ram for providing this Gladiator for today's video. Take a look at their website down in the description below. And the model that we're looking at today is finished off in black with the customer preferred package 24W and has a total MSRP at $54,500. Underneath the hood of the Jeep Gladiator, you're going to find a naturally aspirated 3.6 liter six-cylinder engine. This V6 pumps out 285 horsepower with 260 pound-feet of torque and it's paired to the optional eight-speed automatic transmission. This is a four-wheel drive vehicle and the overall curb weight is around 4,700 pounds. And running on a 22 gallon fuel tank, you're looking at 17 miles per gallon in the city with 22 out on the highway. And the Willis package even gets a 110 miles per hour top speed calibration. The overall length is 218 inches with wheelbase at 137.3, width is 73.8, and height is 73.1 inches. The Jeep Gladiator is also extremely capable with payload capacity at 1,100 pounds and then max towing at 4,500 pounds. For off-road capabilities, approach angle comes in at 41 degrees with breakover at 18 degrees, ground clearance is around 10 inches, and departure angle is 25 degrees. And then now moving to the exterior styling with this 2022 Jeep Gladiator Willis Edition. This is a very off-road capable and bold looking off-road truck. If we take a look up front, we get the LED package for your headlights. There's an LED ring around the actual headlight itself with LEDs for the projector beams. Along the front fenders, you're gonna see your LED turn signals and running lights. They have a very cool design. We of course get the traditional seven bar grille, just like you would see on any other Jeep. Very nice the way everything is integrated, just like the old school Wrangler. And then of course, the Gladiator's based off that same design. We get our front bumper protruding out forwards with some gloss black trim, as well as LED fog lights down below and metal tow hooks. The Jeep Gladiator is a very aggressive looking truck and it has that familiar Jeep design. You can also see the manual latches on the front portion of the hood to open and close it. You can see those latches. We get that cool power dome design with somewhat of a bulge in the center of the hood along with bumpers on the top for when you do fold down the windshield and you can see the exposed hinges. On the left and right side we get the Willis name written out in a satin black vinyl. Then we get body colored fender flares for the side profile. The Gladiator has a really good side profile design, very proportional with the shorter bed like this, as well as how the hood looks. And then we get a set of off-road tires with a nice looking satin black Jeep wheel with a five spoke design. They're 17 inch diameter in all four corners, which is ideal for an off-roader. And then you can see the solid front axle up front with the coil spring, as well as these struts. You also get some plastic black trim around these front fenders, and then a set of rock rails in the lower section. You can see how it goes all the way towards the rear fender. We get a set of plastic black door handles as well as the same design for these side mirrors, then all black trim for the sides of these windows. And then we get the optional hardtop roof. It's a three piece removable roof, all finished off in the black plastic. There's a cool trim piece on the back side of these front fenders, along with a blacked out Jeep and Gladiator logo behind that. I love the way the Gladiators look, and especially this Willis Edition with these wheels and tire combination. It's a very off-road looking truck. You see how the bed has sharp body lines that fade their way from the cab. Then we get a protruding set of LED taillights. They have a really cool design with all red on the housing and the trim on the outside. We get a four-wheel drive badge on this right side, finished in that same black vinyl. And then a blacked out Jeep name right in the center of the tailgate with the backup camera underneath that. The third brake light is on the top portion with your release handle. And then we get a plastic rear bumper with a metal tow hook on the left side. Trailer hitch connections are on the left of the license plate. And then your hitch is right in the center. Taking a look at the actual tailgate and bed space now, I can grab the handle. This does lock as well. And it's a soft open. We can let that fall down. Body colored all in here. We get an LED light as well as a hook in each corner. It's not the deepest bed, but still very usable for a lot of items. So there's a good look at the exterior with some of the specifications on the Willis Edition Jeep Gladiator. It's kind of like a baby Rubicon. You don't really get all the luxuries, but you get quite a lot of the off-road capabilities. We have Jeep's key fob with the big logo, and I can go ahead and lock it, and we get remote start. So if I double tap on that button, the V6 will roar to life. Really cool feature to have. 
tapping it again, it'll shut off. And then keeping the key fob in my pocket, all I have to do is grab the door handle, it'll unlock, and we can check out this interior. This particular spec gets a full black fabric interior with a little bit of silver accent. You can see on the door panel we have our nice armrest with a little bit of padding, a grab handle on top, and then a grab handle on the bottom side to help when you remove this door. You have our release handle as well as the mirror controls, lock and unlock, and then a storage net down below. We get some manual controls on the seat. You can see recline is on this back lever. Then a cool design for all the fabric. Nice little bolsters on it. Pretty simple looking. And then moving through the steering wheel, we get a black leather steering wheel with three spoke design and some dark trim. And then now inside the Gladiator, keeping my foot on the brake, we can go ahead and fire it up. You get the cool Jeep depiction right in the center there. Tachometers over on the left side with your transfer case, and then your speedometer over on the right. We even get an LCD screen right in the center that you can control using this pad right on the left side of the steering wheel. Taking a look right now in the center, you can scroll left and right in some of these menus. Getting to our main screen now, you can see your speedometer. We also have vehicle information with all sorts of different parameters that you can measure and view. We have off-road like pitch and roll meter, transfer case as well for your drivetrain, fuel economy trip information, and then a few more things that will come up. On the actual steering wheel, we have all of your cruise control settings over on the right side, then some Bluetooth and audio on the left. We do have controls on the back side for volume. Then we have our windshield wipers on the right side with the turn signal stock on the left. Then all the headlight controls and interior dimming. You can see one of the air vents, and then a little bit of storage on the center portion of this dashboard, then a nice dark design for this side with a grab handle on the right. Moving to the screen now, you can see all the navigation information. We, if we go to the map now, you can see a pretty good view. This is the optional 8.4 inch screen. We have apps right in the center as well. All sorts of different information. You can take a look at the backup camera, which is actually pretty HD. The off-road pages is a really cool display that'll pop up with a few more things for the drivetrain. You can see your steering angle as I adjust that, transfer case. You have accessory gauges as well that you can see all in one place, and then the massive pitch and roll meter. Also shows your altitude, your coordinates, as well as which drivetrain you're in. We have controls down here for the heated steering wheel, as well as the seats. Then we have climate controls to adjust everything. Very quickly and easily, you can adjust what you need, fan speed, different zones and everything. And I just like how simple everything is laid out. We also have different settings. And then down below the screen, we have physical climate control settings, steering wheel and seats, the fan speed. When you adjust it, you can see how it comes up on the screen as well. So I like that extra touch and attention to detail. The research icon even has a Jeep Wrangler as its photo. Same with the downhill assist. This is the slow speed cruise control, which is a really awesome feature. Traction control and everything. Down below that, we have all four of your window switches, as well as your media over here for USB ports and auxiliaries. We have a little bit of storage down below. Four wheel drive indicator is right here. It's a manual lever. You can pull it down manually to get into each gear. And then you have your gear selector with a leather shift boot. Then you have two cup holders, manual parking brake, and a storage area for your cell phone or even the key fob. Center console now has a pretty good amount of space in here with a USB. It is lockable and we have two different handles with extra storage space. And then the glove box itself has a pretty good little bucket in there. And then one last look at the interior. This generation Gladiator is based off of the JL Wrangler, which was the all new generation for 2018. So really cool to see all that in a pickup truck. This hardtop also is finished off in white on the underside, and you can see all the release handles to manually pop off these panels. Very simple and easy to do. You have a garage door opener up here as well, and then dome lights and speakers in the center. And then moving to the rear seat space, if I open up the door, the door panel is finished off just like we saw up front, even with that same lower handle to remove these doors from the truck. We have the same fabric seating all back here. This is a three row bench seat. We get some storage on the back side of these front seats, Climate control vents, window controls right in the center, USBs, outlet, as well as some cup holders down below. And then for the seats, you can grab the front and lift this up. It opens up to reveal a nice area of storage. You can see how this bin goes all the way to the other side, so you got a lot of space in here. Then just firmly grabbing it, we can put it down, and then you can even move the headrest down for a little bit better visibility. There's a latch on the back you can pull, get the backrest down to fold these flat for different types of storage, then there's extra storage bins back here. You can fit some good sized items, larger water bottles, or things like that. So pretty practical for a pickup truck. 
All right, so now sitting in the back seat of the Jeep Gladiator, this is actually not too bad. This size pickup truck, you know, your Toyota Tacomas, Nissan Frontiers, things like that, aren't the biggest back here, but this is actually pretty roomy. I'm five foot 11 and I have a ton of headroom, maybe like four or five inches with the driver's seat set at my height. I have great knee room and foot room, good little armrests and a lot of glass too. So it's actually a pretty nice truck. Of course, with the window open, that's a nice touch to have. No center armrest, so that's kind of a downside. But honestly, there's a lot of room in here and the recline of these seats is pretty decent. You could actually be in here for a pretty good amount of time. And then with the roof being removable, all of this can come off. Same with what's behind me. So you can get that open top experience even with no door. So pretty cool to see in this truck. So setting off now in the Jeep Gladiator. I haven't driven one in quite some time pretty much drives just like the Wrangler. It's pretty much the exact same vehicle, just a little bit longer. And of course you have a bed space rather than a cargo area like an SUV would. So this is the truck Wrangler, which is pretty cool. So getting my bearings with it, we do have mud train tires. So this one is really set up for some good off-road. So they're gonna be probably a little bit noisy. We're starting off on this really bumpy back road, but driving on here, I mean, you can hear the wind, the road, stuff like that. It's not exactly a refined truck at all. Uh, steering is pretty vague, but quite honestly, people buying this, they know all of that. They know the downsides of a truck like this and a Wrangler or a Gladiator, they know the downsides. But what you're getting with this is something that you cannot get anywhere else. You have the fact that you can take the roof off, the doors off, solid axles front and rear for off-road capabilities, which is one of the absolute best off-roaders, if not the best off-roader out of the factory for sure. But you also get the pickup truck space. That's a really cool blend to have the Wrangler, but then also have the bed space. You can fit two dirt bikes in the back of this, haul stuff, load whatever you need, and tow a pretty decent size. If you have a smaller boat or something, you know, you can do a lot with a truck like this. So it's really cool what you get. I also like how this addition does get the upgraded screen, so it's really easy to configure climbing control, navigation, and all those sort of things. And then the fact that we have the off-road pages. When you're off-road and you can monitor everything that you need, your drivetrain, you know exactly what's going on. The pitch and roll obviously is great for safety. You know, you don't want to flip or anything like that. But it's a pretty cool truck to be in. It's decently comfortable. You know, the seats are kind of flat. There's no lateral grip or anything like that in these, no lateral support. But honestly, you know, it's good enough. You can rack up some miles in one of these. Getting up to some speed, we can shift in a manual shift mode using the shifter right here. So we'll feel that out a little bit. <laughs> it's not bad. You know, some people like to say that these are extremely slow. That's up to about 55 miles per hour. It gets up to speed and they're peppy around town, I would say. Obviously, it's not a top end vehicle with that kind of power. If you want that, the 392 Wrangler is a pretty awesome truck to get. But this still, you know, it gets up to speed. It does what you need it to do. And then the low speed, that's where it really shines. When you're in four wheel drive low, those type of capabilities, the way the transfer case works, the downhill cruise control pretty much what this button is, is really, really good. This is a fun truck to take off roading. And just the fact that you can do so many things in this that nothing else in this segment can do, that's a pretty big selling point. The overall interior and things like that, it's pretty basic, you know, nothing really too luxurious. And again, that's not what it's supposed to be. But when you drive one of these, it's gonna drive a lot different compared to anything else. If you're used to the Tacomas, the Frontiers, things like that, you know, this is gonna be a little bit more to handle. Like I said, the steering, it's not good. <laughs> There's some body roll. It's designed to be hitting the trails. But overall though, it is a pretty sweet truck to check out for sure. And then spinning around to the point of view so you guys can immerse yourself in driving in a Jeep Gladiator. I really love the view out. These have such a good viewpoint from every angle that you're in. <laughs> you probably can hear some wind noise. So like I said, it's not that refined. Yeah, you're gonna hear all that. But you can see the entire hood, which is really cool, and really pinpoint where this is when you're hitting the trails. It's a very easy truck to do that with. The mirrors do a pretty good job letting you know what's going on behind you. And there's really no blind spot. You know, trucks like this in general, pickup trucks in general, have amazing visibility. And this one obviously has all of that. So as you can see, I'm turning the steering wheel just a little bit, just because with the wind and stuff, it kind of fights you. You know, on the highway, you're gonna notice that in a truck like this. But overall, you know, they're fun to be in. These trucks are about fun and just doing something that's adventurous. These are all about taking them on an adventure. 
and the fact that you can do what this truck is capable of, there's gonna be those sacrifices. So you don't get the ride quality and refinements, but instead you get off-road capabilities and just something really cool. When you take these two panels off independently from the back, it's a really convenient way to just get that open top experience without having to take the entire back piece off. And there are storage bags for these, so you can stow them in the back if you want or something to where you can at least take them off and on uh, whenever you'd like. So getting up to speed again. The transmission does a pretty good job. You know, I like the eight speed for sure. Major transmission is available if you want that aspect, but the automatic is nice. You know, it's a $2,000 option roughly. It shifts smooth enough. You got enough gears to have some power depending on where you are in the revs, where you are in the speed. So they did a good job at least balancing it out. The older Wranglers from back in the day with those automatics, like a four or five speed, whatever they were, uh, those were pretty awful. So I like once they went to the eight speed, you really do get to utilize the power in this. And the Willis Edition, of course, is a pretty cool name to have on your truck. But yeah, definitely a neat truck for sure. And I think that is gonna about wrap it up. If you guys enjoyed today's video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and smash that subscribe button. Stay tuned for plenty more content. And then a big shout out and thank you to Feeney Chrysler Jeep Dodge and Ram for providing this new Gladiator for today's video. Take a look at their website linked below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Baby, baby, baby.